Welcome to class. Today we have total body conditioning. All you need is a set of anywhere between light and heavy set of weights, whatever you prefer, a mat to the side and a little bit of space. We're gonna work circuit training today. I'll show you high and low versions for most of the exercises and you do what's best for you. So when you're ready, let's go ahead and put our equipment to the side, march it out in place. Again, just give yourself a little bit of room so you're not tripping on anything. Abs are tight, deep breath, inhale, reach up to the ceiling. Exhale, let it out. If you have any tension from the day, you can shake it all out. Good, big breath in and out. Very nice, let's just do that a couple more times. Gradually get that body warmed up. And one more right here, make it a little bit bigger. And down, very good. Take those feet out wide and tap those toes wide right here. Nice and light, heels are down. Keeping that core engaged and the spine long the entire time. Add an overhead reach. Lift, lift. Nice stretch for the sides. Keep it here for eight, seven, six. There's four, three, and we'll reach the arm in front. Press, beautiful. Both arms for the chest press. Starting to drop the hips down and up a little bit lower. Knees are staying soft. Good job. Step, touch the feet in and out. So familiar warm up to get us going. Beautiful. Three, two, let's keep those legs, both arms overhead, reach and pull, driving those elbows back and in. Perfect. Whew. We'll work some strength, we'll work some cardio and core today, a little bit of everything. Back in front for the chest. And now give me those tricep presses. Elbows in, like you're pushing the floor away. Change the legs, hamstrings right here. Step and curl. All we're doing is kicking those heels up. Quarter, half squat in between. Good job. There's eight, seven, six. All right, coming up, we'll double these up. You ready? Doubles for two. Two on the left, two on the right. Do it again. Take it up. Four more. Here's four, three, two. Knee lifts up and down. Reach and pull. Think about bringing those knees all up to the chest. Standing tall. Excellent. Stay there for four. Three, just like before, double it up. Two, other way. Do it again, doubles. Four more here. There's four. Three, two. Hands on the hips, outer thighs. Like a pendulum side to side. Pushing off with the heel on the ground, extending the leg. If you like to, I'm gonna add my arms. Watch, I'm gonna press up, down, lift. If it slows down, that's all right. Feeling those abductors for four, three, two, small kicks and punches. Shake it out. Good, nice and easy. Elbow soft. Keep it here. 10 more seconds, a little bit bigger. This is gonna go right to those hip opener squats or step touches. Three, two, all right, when you're ready, inside leg open. You can plant the feet, squat, step together, or if you're not feeling the squat yet, you do a step touch. Let's go about 20 seconds here. Take your time. Inhale, exhale, sink it low. Good. As those hips get more warm, can you sink those hips an inch deeper? Squeeze the glutes on top. Eight seconds left. In five, four, three, two, let's keep the squats. Here we go, down and lift. Now we're doing squats, think like you're sitting back in a chair, change your mind, come up, squeeze the glutes, keeping that core tight. Good, two more. Now let's go ahead and pulse it down for eight, seven, six. Here's four, three, singles down and up, two times, down and lift. Hold this one down, hands in the quads, give me that flat back. Abs in round all the way to stand. One shoulder roll back and the shoulder roll forward, flat back again. Come up halfway, dip one shoulder in, look over the other for a nice low back stretch. And center up, other shoulder dips. Good, center up round all the way to stand, one vertebrae at a time, head and shoulders last. Once you're on top, three shoulder rolls back. And three, come forward. Inhale, reach all the way up to your ceiling. 
exhale let it out one more time feet together on the toes reach and let it out good job grab a drink of water let's go ahead and kick off with our first block all right we're actually going to do four exercises per block but the car it's going to be every other move is strength and cardio and the cardio move will be the same move in between the strength so if that makes sense all right starting with your weights we're going to do a big compound move to start reverse lunge hold row push off come back to stand other leg lunge squeeze and row so when we're rowing we're not letting the shoulders drop forward shoulders back and in and then squeezing on top 45 seconds we're doing this one four choose your weights how you like in four three two let's do it step and row come up so if you're not feeling that full lunge feel free to just tap back just do kind of a partial keep the knees bent and focus on that upper body row instead step row squeeze step row squeeze good keep it going again full 45 seconds for the strength move squeeze the shoulder blades together depending on your weight double or single arms Whew. boom lift you're doing great stay there 10 more seconds good job stay with it stay with it down and back five and then we'll put the weights down four three two and one put the weights to the side where you won't trip on them 30 seconds for all your cardio today cardio we're going to kind of keep a similar move with the lunge low impact quick tap backs feel free to make it bigger feel free to add a small hop 30 seconds keeping with that similar lunge move all right we're going in five seconds you ready four three areas clear two here we go i'm kind of feeling a low impact but big move bigger intensity does that make sense so no hop but really using the arms engaging the core reaching back strong if you're not feeling those arms you can shorten it up stay there 15 seconds and then we're picking the uh, weights back up Woo. next move is going to be back to a little bit of shoulders in four three two and one walk it out grab your weight this strength one's going to be 30 seconds it's going to be alternating weight and a knee lift option so kind of like a big march like you're punching it up to the ceiling but if you don't want to do the uh, legs do alternating palms in narrow grip overhead press 30 seconds we're starting in 10 seconds all right so rack up the weights palms in elbows tight core is tight three two here we go and you're lifting up that knee as high as you like keep the abs tight spine is long and be really strong with the arms so drive up exhale Whew. good and if you're not feeling the knee you can stay here with the feet planted you've got it breathe 10 more seconds and we have another set of 30 seconds for those lunge tap backs or just tap back reach in four three two and stop bonus cardio again it's just 30 seconds same move so my goal for all this second time to do the same cardio move is to make it a little bit better or make it a little bit bigger if you have the energy all right you know it's coming in five four three make sure you're clear and let's do it 30 seconds can you reach back a little bit farther than you did the first time breathe if you're feeling a hop go for it I'm keeping it here Woo. You're doing so good. You have an extended recovery after this and you're gonna get a full 45 second recover. And then we're gonna do each one again from the top. Breathe. Whew. Eight seconds. Yes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Walk it out. If you can, keep a light march during this break. Twenty more seconds to recover so if you want to start getting your weight review the first move is gonna be weights in hand step and row step and row 
I set my heavier weights out today because I was like, if I put them out, I feel like I have to use them. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for a little bit heavier. Second set. All right, 10 seconds we start. Reverse lunge rows. This one's the only one that's 45 seconds. Going in four, three, two, let's do it. Step lunge row, feet together, step lunge row. Really squeeze the shoulder blades together. Breathe. Woo. Feel free to alternate the arms or move that lunge at any time if it's too much. Step, boom. Slow and controlled. Spine is staying long, squeeze the glute. Lift. Good job. You look so good. Stay there for another 15 seconds. I know these 45 seconds are a little longer, but you're doing the move slow and controlled. Breathe. Five, four, three. Can you squeeze one more in for me? And then go ahead and place those weights down off to the side. Whew, good. All right, 15 seconds. Light march or jog. Tap backs with those lunges. Big arm for the reach or hands on the hips or add a little more and add a hop. You choose in five, four, three, two. Let's do it. It's just 30 seconds. And nice and big if you can. Heart rate still comes up. Even if you don't have a hop, if you want the hop, you can definitely take it there. If you want to keep it lower, hands down, shorter range. Come on, pass midway. Whew. Go, 10 seconds. They're picking up the weights, alternating press with the knee lift, and that one's just 30 seconds. In three, two, walk it out. 20 second recovery. All right. Halfway through the second round for block one. Quick review, we rack it up. Alternating arms, knees, knees are optional. If not, stick with the shoulders. All right, deep breath, starting at seven. Rack it up. Three, two, let's go. Core is tight, like you're punching two holes in the ceiling. Boom, boom. Nice and strong. Knees come up as high as you like. Give it like a standing crunch for the abs. Halfway 15. And then one final set of those tap backs. Yes. Last six. Five, four, three, two, and place it down off to the side. All right, you're doing so good. 15 seconds we start. Quick tap backs. Last time we see these today. You know what to do. Face this way for this time. In five, four, three, two, let's do it. Come on, just 30 seconds. That's it. Make it count, make it big. That's it yet. Knees are soft. Make sure those heels are down when the feet come together. Woo. Press. You've got it. You've got it. 15. Breathe. You're doing amazing. Eight. Five. Four. Three. Two and walk it out. Good job. Block one is done. Let's get ready for block two. Block number two. Let's go ahead and pick up those weights again. Kind of one of my new favorite moves. This one's just gonna be upper body, so we're gonna plant those feet. Bicep curl, crisscross, pull back, Lower, again, up, and then you can alternate the arm on top if you want. Center and down. So it's up, cross, in, lower. 30 seconds, this is a fun one. Plant those feet, shoulders back, palms away, in three, two, let's do it. Curl, boom, back, in. It's kind of a full upper body exercise. Whew. That crisscross, got the chest, shoulders, and the back working. Good, up. And you can always modify this with one arm down. One arm can do the curl and cross. If your weights 
are challenging enough and you can actually do them together, go for it. Come on, 12 seconds. Press in, down. Good job. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, coming up, weights are optional. Why don't you watch what I'm gonna do? We're gonna do lateral monster walks, and this is actually gonna be your cardio, even though it's not fast. If you have the weights, I'm racking it up, dropping low. I'm gonna go whatever room you have um, to move to lateral. I have about four that I can go across. So out, so notice I'm staying low, out and in. So drop the hips, get low. The weights are optional. If you're not feeling the weights, I want you to take it there. But using the length of the room, whatever, room, whatever you have. 30 seconds. Remember, you have two rounds of these, so this will be after the next exercise too. In three, two, drop, here we go. So two, three, four step touches, whatever. But it's a big leg burn. Whew. Your goal for yourself is to not come all the way to a stand. If you need to, you can totally take a break and then drop back down. But I challenge you to stay low the entire time. Heart rate is gonna come back up. Whew, 10 seconds. Very nice. And each one of these will kind of layer on each other. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, let's place those weights down. I'm gonna give you an option for push-ups. Push-ups how you like. You can do standing against a wall. You could take it down on the ground. You can do ground with hands on your weights, on your knees, your toes. But we're doing 30 seconds of straight push-ups how you like. So if you're against the wall, on the toes, keep the spine long, lower the chest. All right, so if you're out of my frame, that's okay. Listen to the cues. We're gonna start in about seven seconds. I'm gonna take this one down to the ground. I'm gonna start on the toes, probably go back to my knees. Three, two, let's do it. Inhale, exhale up. So whichever version you're doing, Core is tight, spine and neck staying in line. Inhale when your chest comes towards the ground of the wall. Exhale when you press up and lift. Good, we have only 12 seconds left. Finish out your set. Woo! And then another set of those lateral monster walks in five, four, three. Finish one more for me. Give yourself a quick, quick, quick stretch. Come on up, in 15 seconds, we're back to the monster walks. If you wanna hold weights, go for it. If you don't wanna hold weights, hands are on your hips. Woo! All right, so this is kind of our cardio slash legs <laughs> for this block. Starting in five, four, three, ready, bend it down. Let's go. 30 seconds, slow but big movement. Heels down, hips back. Woo, good job. Come on, you're halfway. Can you drop those hips an inch lower? I know, it sounds really good, doesn't it? <laughs> Keep it up. Last day right here. Woo, five, four, three, two, and stop. Woo, 45 second recovery. Grab a good drink, I would keep walking it out in between. Fifteen more seconds. Oh, our bicep curl crisscrosses. Grab your weights. Good news is everything is just 30 seconds in this block. Deep breath, inhale, exhale out, starting in five. Shoulders back, palms away. In three, two, curl to crisscross right here. Up, boom, down, lift, crisscross. Good. Abs are in, boom. You can always do the alternating. Stay with the doubles. Awesome. Curl, press. Up on deck. We're only gonna have a 15 second recovery in between. Since we're not doing anything for the legs now, we can go right to it. All right, five seconds. Four, three, two, finish the one you're on. 15 second recovery starting now. Hold your weights if you want. Give yourself some space. Lateral monster walks, however many you have room for. We're going in five seconds already. Rack the weights. Four, three, two, let's go. Whew. 
hips back. Again, every set we do of these, make it better than the last. Make it better than the last. Good. Woo. Stay there, stay there. Quads are feeling it. 10 more seconds. Drop down an inch if you can. Up on deck in 15 seconds after this is push ups. Choose where you're going to do this and how you're going to do it. Four, three, two. Walk it up for 15. Get to where you need to be. I'm taking mine to the floor. If you're on the wall, hands there. Go on your toes if you'd like. Woo, we're starting in five, four, three, two. Let's go. Down and up. Nothing fancy with this one. Core tight, spine is long. Make sure you're not locking up those elbows on the extension, whichever version you're doing. Breathe. Woo, come on, 15 seconds. I know it's in you. Then last set for monster walks. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Sink back and stretch. All right, come on up. 15 seconds we start. Wait if you want them. Last set of these. You don't have to see them again. Woohoo! Four, three, two, let's go. Last set, best set. You got it, you've got it. All the way. Breathe. Woo! Good job. Our third block, we are gonna stay standing, so we can recover standing up. 10 more seconds, drop a little lower. Breathe. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, good job. Weights down, shake it out, grab a drink. Let's stay up for your third block. All right, third block, similar pattern, two strings, two cardio, but the cardio is gonna be unilateral. We're gonna do one side per set. So that makes sense when we get there. But for now, let's grab your weight. Let's do a combo biceps to tri overhead tricep extension. I think we did this one maybe a couple weeks ago, but watch me. It's a hammer curl up, press up, lock them together, overhead, bring it down, and lower. So if you have different sets of weights, we do one, decide which weight's best for you. We're gonna hit this one for 45 seconds. It's a nice big combo. All right, so palms in the whole time. Shoulders back. Three, two, a little bit more narrow stance. Let's go. Curl, press, lock them. Up, in, down. So it's like a narrow grip press overhead in that transition. And then we do the triceps. Try to keep those upper arms as close to your ears as you can and not that the, let the elbows flare out too much. So the tighter you can make this entire move, the more effective it is. Good. Press in, out. Awesome work. Lift. We have about 15 seconds left. Stay strong to the end. Good job, good job. Breathe. Five, four, three, two. You can finish that last one. Good, bring it down. All right, for this, weight's an option, so I'm gonna keep one weight in hand. All right, 30 seconds. I'm gonna go kind of in a stagger stance. My weight's gonna be on this base leg. Arm is up, knee in, knee in. If your arm's kind of getting tired, you can take it here. But we're gonna do 30 seconds on this side. We'll do our next strength exercise, and then we'll do 30 seconds on the other side. So if you want to, you can start with the weight, and if it's like too much, it's really easy to ditch it. All right, so decide which side you wanna start on. Kick out the other leg, 30 seconds, and three, two, one. And if you have the weight, it's a little slower. I know you get a little bonus shoulder here. <laughs> so abs in, drive, drive. Let's see my shoulder's starting to kick in really quick. <laughs> <laughs> keep it up, keep it up. I'm gonna go 15 more seconds. I'm gonna go without it. I'm just gonna put it in the other hand. <sighs> ah, 
nice. Stay there, stay there. Five, four, three, two, and walk it out, good. All right, if you like to, you can place the weight down. We'll take a break from the weight for the leg exercise. All right, in between 30 seconds, our traveling curtsy, curtsy lunges. So I have both sides clear. Hands can be on your hips wherever you like. Step back, curtsy. If you like to stay low, curtsy here. If you like to stand in between, that's fine as well. So traveling curtsy lunge. If you don't like curtsies, you do reverse, alternating regular reverse lunges. All right, in three, two, just 30 seconds. So if you're low here, hips down, but if you need to take that leg break, I know we're getting near the end of this workout, you can have that stand. You're doing so good. Woo. Come on, 10 seconds only. And then the other side for those knee drives. Five, four, three, two, walk it out. Give you 20 seconds here because I know those knee drives are another leg. If you want to hold the weight, go for it. I might do what I did before and do the first half with it. Second half, remove. Other knee, boom, cross over. Plant that foot, bend the knee. Abs are tight, we're starting in three, two, 30 seconds. Boom, get that knee up, drive that elbow towards the top of the thigh. Yes, woo, come on, 15 seconds. Stay there, in, in. Yeah, long break after this, it's coming. I promise. Five, four, three, two, walk it out. Woo, good job. All right, grab your weights, let's start in 10. Quick review, curl, whoops, curl is palm in. In, up, extension, up, in and down. Going in four, three, two, let's do it. Up, lift, elbows in, take those first couple, get used to the move. Nice about this one, it's a lot going on, but it's not as much of a thinker as some of the other combos we've done, because it really flows smoothly. Exhale, Woo. good. Control the swing all the way down when we lower for those thighs. Nice. Up, in, press. Check the time. Oh, you only have 10 more seconds left. Finish strong. And if you wanna keep one weight for the knee drives, you can, or place it down. Five, four, three, two, finish the one you're on. Good. All right, one way down or both. Knee drives, pick whatever side you want to start with first. It doesn't matter. All right, I think I'm going to go with my other leg first. All right, starting in five. You ready? Four, three, two, 30 seconds, go. Whew. Breathe. Get that knee all the way up if you can. Crunch. Yes. Nice. Less than 15. Looks so good. Whew. Last five, four, three, two, walk it out. Good. All right, let's put those weights down for the legs and just focus on that. Traveling curtsies, you only have a full minute left of total work standing. So that's the good news. Best news yet, this one's starting in five seconds. Four, room on both sides. Ready, let's go. So if you wanna make it challenging, stay low the whole time. Never come all the way up. If that's too much, give yourself a stand between sides. You got it. Come on, 15 seconds. Finishing these up. Woo! Yes. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Walk it out. Give you 20 seconds here. Grab the weight if you want it. Last side, knee drives for 30 seconds. Starting at 10. Doing awesome. All right, plant that foot. Engage the core, kick it out. Three, two, let's do this. Finish this. Big exhale when that knee comes in. Yes. And keep that base knee soft. Woo. Excellent. Halfway, halfway. Good job. Stay there. Breathe. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great work. Grab a drink, place the weight down. You're done with those. Grab your mat, and I'll meet you on the floor. All right, when you're ready, we're down to the ground. Let's do a quick warm up exercise for the core half, quarter, or full rollbacks. We're sitting on the edge of our mat, heels are down, hands behind the legs, spine is long. Inhale, dip the chin, round. Exhale, sit up, lengthen. So if you know this exercise and the progression, go for it. If you're feeling good, go for the full. I'll quickly show all the versions. You can let go of the hands. You can make it a more full range of motion. So as long as you're making that C curve shape down and then sit up straight on the way up, you can add big arm swoops. Inhale, exhale. I'm gonna give you another 15 seconds. Do these how you like. Inhale, exhale. If you wanna stay with this, that's fine. If you wanna stay here, scoop and sit up. Five, four, three, two, and finish your last one. Good, stay in that seated position. Place those hands down. We're gonna go into kind of a modified visa position to start. Let's progress together. Inhale, little tricep press. Exhale, extend, one knee come up, and then other knee. So join me here, and then I'll explain as we go on. So you can stay here, call this level one. Inhale, exhale, knee comes up. Level two, both legs together. That's gonna to be your next one. And I'll give you a third level option. You kick out, in, kick out, the feet never touch the floor. So pick one of those three, we're gonna go for 15 seconds, go. So there's your two, there's your three, and there's the one we started with. Eight seconds left, finish how you like. Five, four, three, then we have a 15 second V-sit hold. Three, two, one, V-sit how you like. Feet can be up, arms out, fingers, hips down, heels down, whatever you like. 10 more seconds. Lengthen the spine, sit up a little bit taller if you can, and just breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth for four, three, two, hands behind the legs, feet are down, let's lie all the way down. Good, gently come back. Take a breath or two here. All right, let's do a set of hip bridges. Feet are down, engage the core, tuck that pelvis under. Inhale, exhale, lift the hips, squeeze the glutes. And then let's slowly lower it down, relax. Good, inhale, exhale, lift, and lower. So we're gonna do kind of a quick big round, a quick round for the um, hip thrust, and then add some options. Four more like this. Take it at your own pace, squeeze. This is great for the glutes, the entire core, your pelvic floor. So think about lifting the pelvic floor on the top end, coming down and relaxing. Wherever you're at, do one more traditional, and then follow my cues. Take a full breath in and out. Okay, we're gonna lift it up. We're gonna extend the right leg in the air, and then we're gonna do some hip drops standing up, and we're doing that eight times. All right, ready? Inhale, exhale, lift up. Left foot stays on the ground. Right leg in the air, flex the foot. Drop down and up. You're driving through the left heel on the ground for eight, seven, six, feeling that left glute. Good, five, four, three, two, hold the hip up, drop the leg straight down and up, hip stays lifted for eight. I know I'm going right to a combo, but I know you can do it. Six, if you need to, you drop the hip down. Five, four, three, 
two. Set the foot down first, drop the hips. I'm giving you two full breaths in and out with your hips down. So I know that was a big back-to-back -back set when you jumped right to it. Same thing on the other side. You know it's coming now, left leg in the air. Ready, engage, lift, left leg up, flex the foot, drop down and up first for eight. Down, pop, there's eight, seven. Good, six, drive to the right heel. Five, four, three, two. We're going right to those leg drops. Hold the hip up on this one, point the toe, down and lift for eight. Seven, good. Five, four, three, two. Set the foot down, drop the hips. Let's hug the knees in and rock it out. Good job. I have a fun move for you. We're gonna place our hands underneath our hips, head stays relaxed, extend the legs up. All right, we're tracing like a big circle. So watch me, I'm gonna show you the big full version then I'll show you modified. I'm gonna keep the legs together, drop down on the lowest part. I'm gonna open the legs, make a big circle, come back on top, see that? Lower down, circle come up. So go ahead and try it here. If that's too much, you can stay high and make it a smaller circle. Inhale down, exhale, circle around. Let's do five like this. So count your own. We've got four. Inhale down, exhale around. Three, two, and then we're gonna reverse it. Let's stay on top. We're gonna drop down, open the circle. Feet together on the bottom end. They come straight up, give me five of those. Inhale, drop, exhale, lift. Again, you can make it small and stay here if you like. Inhale, exhale, zip it up. I'm gonna get two more. And when you're done with your set, go ahead and hug the knees in. Good. And just rock side. Beautiful job. Last thing we have is a set of um, bird dogs and we're gonna flip it over. So come on up and then sneak a drink if you need to. And we're gonna go into tabletop position. All right, so for your bird dogs, hands down, knees down, core is engaged. If you'd like to, you can go ahead and just have both hands down and extend the legs. If you're feeling good, we're gonna do add the arm, opposite arm, opposite leg. All right, so when you're ready, we're actually gonna do two sets. The first that's gonna be 20 seconds traditional. Second set, I'm gonna add a little extra lift. But for now, 20 seconds traditional bird dogs, let's go. Alternating every time. Lengthen the fingertips, core is tight. Lift the pelvic floor. Think about driving the fingertips forward. Pressing your feet straight back. And your eyes are staying down and forward. Eight seconds, and then I'm gonna have you stretch and then watch me. Three, two, you can sink back for a child's pose. And then when you get a chance, look at me. I'm gonna do the same bird dog, I'm gonna extend I'm gonna add a lift, see that with the arm and the leg? Set it down, other side, lift and hold, lift straight up and down. I'm just gonna get a little bit of extra low back. So we'll just do that one for 20 seconds. All right, ready, engage, let's go. Lift up, kind of like you're shaking someone's hand with your hand and your foot. And lower, up, little lift, down, good. 10 seconds. This is your last move. Five, four, why don't you get one more in? Three, two, and one. Hands down, knees the width of your mat, frogger pose, inhale, exhale, sink back and stretch. Great job today. Deep breath in, exhale out. One more time, inhale, breathe, and exhale. Slowly round up into that tabletop position. Let's get a few cat cows in. Inhale, and then exhale, push the floor away, round the back, wiggle your hips, do whatever feels good. Center up, flat back, gazing forward. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, flat back. 
One more like that. Exhale. And then inhale. Good. Come on up to a kneeling position and let's go into some floor stretches. One knee down, other foot forward, so we're in that low crescent lunge. And then when you're ready, inhale, reach those arms up. Press the hips forward just a little bit, stretch the back. Inhale, exhale, fingertips down, shift back for a hamstring stretch. And we're gonna do this transition nice and slow between the hamstring and the lunge, and then shift forward, find your balance, reach up. Inhale, exhale, fingertips down, sink for the ham, good. Do that maybe three more times. Down and sink. Last two. The foot is flat forward. Down and sink. Good. And last one. Lift up. Sink back for the hamstring and hang out. All right, keeping a similar position, bring that hand that's on the outside of the leg in front and walk your fingertips to the wide part of your mat so you're swiveling around. All right, go ahead and come up. Have this toe face the side wall. Kind of in this open hip position, elbow down. Other arm up and over for that modified side angle. Good. Inhale, breathe. Exhale, windmill the arms, fingertips on the ground. Other arm up and over and hold it there. Good. Round that back, fingertips down right in front of you. Kick out this leg. All right, I have a new one for you. So we have our adductor stretch like we're here. Fingertip down, we're gonna do a, we're gonna combine this with a thread the needle. So this hand down where the knee side is down. This arm under, those drops, and then lifts. Try a couple, see if you like it. If not, you can do traditional um, adductor rockers like we've done before, which is this move. But I thought I'd give you a little different option today. And you could try the thread the needle and it adds a little bit of um, thoracic mobility more into it. So inhale and just breathe. Good. Let me just get four or five like that. On your next thread the needle, let's hold the arm underneath and just hold for about five seconds. And then carefully come up. Good, go ahead and bend that foot. You can walk around, sink into a child's pose. Deep breath, inhale, reset. Exhale out. One more breath in. Exhale out. Come on up to kneeling position. Let's get the other leg. I went ahead and turned around so we end up facing you, but you can stay where you're at. Other foot forward for that lunge. And then when you're ready, swoop those arms up, heart to ceiling. Inhale, exhale, fingertips down, frame the foot, shift back for a hamstring. Might feel a little bit tight this first couple, but take your time. Shift forward, reach, and then bring it down. Good. Let's get at least three more full ones at your own pace. Reach. Fingertip shift. And just really using your whole body to get into that stretch. Last one, and you'll hold the hamstring on your next one. Stay down here for a moment. Take that outside hand, swivel it around to the wide part of your mat, swivel that back foot, and then come up to that staggered kneeling position. And once you feel stabilized, side angle, elbow down, other arm up and over. Good. Big breath, inhale. Exhale, windmill, fingertips on the ground. Watch your balance, other arm up and over. Feel that nice side stretch. Work. Round the back, go to the wide part of the mat, kick out that leg. All right, so remember you have your adductor rockers or a thread the needle. So if you'd like to try the thread the needle with me, drop, open and turn. So you have four or five of those. Exhale, inhale, breathe.
All right, after your next full one, go ahead and hold the thread the needle pose. Hold it down there and we'll take at least one full breath in and out. Good, and then center up. Very nice, go ahead into that kneeling position. Take a seat on the floor. Last two things, let's do a butterfly stretch for those inner thighs. Feet together, sit up tall. You can stay here, you can lean forward, you can add some trunk circles, which I'm kind of feeling right now. If you're doing this three or four times in each direction. And just like everything, just breathe through the stretches. Reverse the direction if you're trunk circling. <laughs> Good. And then once you finish that last one, go ahead and you can sit crisscross how you like, comfortably. Interlock the fingers behind. Open up the chest and heart. Give me, let's do, let's do two big breaths in and out. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more, inhale through the nose. Hear yourself on the exhale. Really shake it out. Interlock in front, round the upper back, dip the chin. Inhale, lift all the way up to your ceiling and let it all go. You're all done for today. Awesome job. Great job on completing that workout. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to tap the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified with the latest fitness videos released every Mondays and Thursdays. If you have any workout requests, please leave a comment in this video. My name is Allison. Thank you so much for working out with me and I look forward to seeing you next time.